Welcome to show your squad army day. This is my squad army. I'm Rasmus. You can find me on Facebook where I founded the Warhammer 40k squad group uh, about eight months ago. This is my army. It's around 6,000 points using the squad codex you can download for free on that Facebook group. The link is in the description below by the way. The army is comprised of several elements. It's taking me seven years or something to assemble. I'm still adding stuff to it and I'm gonna walk you through all the different parts of uh, the army. Uh, note that this is an adaptation of the Rogue Trader original list for squads with very few additions. Try to stay as true as possible for the original list. So combat squads are needed to unlock assault squads, support squads, weapon teams and so on. The guild and brotherhood are essentially different armies that ally in with each other. They have different HQs and different um, troop choices. And the elites are mainly Hearthguard, the bodyguard of the Thane and King Hand, and also some Imperial Presence here represented by some rattling snipers. I hope you will enjoy the presentation. The leaders of the stronghold are represented by the HQ choices. We have the guild masters. There are two on foot and one on bike. One on foot has a ornate breastplate, which makes them look a bit like a tiny tech marine. Then we move to the stronghold warlord. Uh, the Thane Hand and the King Hand, now represented in the middle with the Exo armor. One on bike and the other two on then we have the two living ancestors, one of which is located in a sidecar for bike mounting. And finally we have Jarl Morgharg, Thane of Solgrim, which is a special character that turns Hearthguard into troop. Most of the models with non-fixed arms are magnetized fully so that they can be switched between weaponry and loadout depending on the situation they need to fill. We also have a command squad. These are veteran advisors in their own dedicated transport with extra armor. There are two plasma guns, two plasma pistols, two power weapons, a medic, uh, standard bear. So let's look at elites. We start with rattling snipers, ten of them, along with the special character Sylvia the Rat Catcher. Then we have Hearthguard, and as you can see, there are multiple squads of Hearthguard. Uh, there are 6x2 plus another 8 with magnetized arms, so that I can switch weapons between close combat weapons and power swords. We also have Hearthguards in Exo armor. 10, well, now, now there's 9, one is in repair, along with their termite drill torpedo. And finally, we have the five exo armored Hearthguard on trikes, which are a rarity, and I'm very happy to have them. The most crucial part of the army is, of course, its core troops. Here we see them lined up. We have two Brotherhood combat squads one has two heavy bolters, one plasma gun, and a veteran with power fist or mitten. The second has two less cannons and a melta gun, also led by a veteran with a mitten. Then we have the support squad, six less cannons, multi melta, two conversion beamers, so and the veteran with mitten. And the second support squad with nine heavy bolters and veteran with mitten. Then we go to the assault squads. Uh, each are mounted in a rhino with extra armor and extra strong bolter. The first squad has four bolters, five flamers, veteran with mitten, and the second is tank hunter territory, which is led by our fearless pirate veteran with mitten, and the squad has two plasmas, three meltas, and the rest have uh, last guns and melta bombs. Let's go really, really fast. Here are fast attack. We'll start off with a Pyre Spotter Scout Flyer. This is equipped with a twin linked Cloud Splitter Auto Cannon and can be switched between two Thunder Rolling Missiles or six Hailstorm Missiles or indeed another twin linked Cloud Splitter. 
the underside is cloud camouflaged as is the other flyer so that when you look up at it you will only see the sky. Then we have guild bikers, guild bikers and guild bikers. Three squads of five each with a veteran with a power fist as with troops. We also have four heavy weapon trikes. These have magnetized weapons so that you can switch between whatever weapon combination you wanted. For instance, you can go all multi multa or you can go heavy bolt or last cannon, missile launchers, whatever. And finally, there is the Iron Eagle Attack Gyrocopter with battle cannon and twin linked cloud splitter auto cannon. This can also be switched to a Steel Hawk, which then has a twin linked multi multa and 12 thunder rolling missiles uh, ready to take out armor. All this is magnetized. Now I'm working on two more variants, the Silver Strix and the Brass Phoenix. Now we get to the heavy firepower and the heavy support. We start with the STC construct, the Vindicator with its extra armor and siege shield. Then move to the Land Raider which has red stripes to indicate that it can be dedicated transport for elites. And finally the two Predator Annihilators. I'm working on some magnetized versions of these as well. Then artillery. Three thud guns will start us off well and truly. And then the three tarantulas which are all fully magnetized so that the weapons can be switched between them. Last cannons, missile launchers, conversion beamers, heavy bolters, whatever suits the need of the battle. Then two rapier laser destroyers, I'm working on the third, and the three mole mortars that burrow under the target to then explode under their feet, which is lots of fun. Is the army complete? Definitely not. I'm still adding things to it. I have obtained a full set of the second edition prototype squads and I'll be trying to make squads out of those eventually. I'm also adding more Imperial Presence, in this case some Rogue Trader robots and their accompanying tech priest. I'm also filling out and getting another Rapier Lacy Destroyer. I've lost some gunners that I'm going to replace, getting two more Predators, one of which is an Infernus. Then there's one more Flyer, there's an Anti-MIQ Support Squad, another Troop. Uh, Brotherhood combat squad that goes out and takes objectives for me and some other bits and bobs filling out the veteran advisor squad and the living ancestors and stuff like that. I'm hoping to add around a thousand points and maybe later on a land train for apocalypse because that would just be so very cool. Check back in a year for our next show your squad army day and we'll see what's come up until then. Have a great time. Bye.